Well, the Browns holding joint practices with the Eagles today, but of course all of that overshadowed by the news that Deshaun Watson, the NFLPA, the NFL, came to a settlement today, Mary Kay. It will be 11 games, a $5 million fine. Deshaun Watson has to undergo uh, treatment that's mandated by the league. Uh, your first impressions when you saw the settlement terms? You know, I thought it was going to land somewhere around here. We knew the NFL wasn't budging on 12. We knew that Deshaun was willing to accept eight. So I thought it was going to be probably somewhere around 10. So not surprised by this. As I reported yesterday morning, uh, they were getting very close on a settlement. So uh, we knew it was happening. We were kind of on the edge of our seats waiting for it. Uh, I actually think it's a pretty good outcome. It gets Deshaun back on the field for the final six games of the season. Treatment is a huge part of this. Uh, the NFL really dug their heels in on this. They wanted him to get the help they feel that he needs. Uh, of course, you know, the, the thing we must note is that Deshaun maintained his innocence again today. So uh, that was probably the, uh, you know, the biggest news after the announcement. And Ashley, of course, that, that six games, playing six games is important for Deshaun because it means he gets to accrue the season, uh, which is why that 11 number, which to some people might have might have sounded a little funky. That's maybe why they landed there. What were your thoughts when uh, when that suspension came out? Yeah, I mean, I did think it was going to be right around there. And for his team, that's a positive that, you know, he gets this year of this deal in. Um, and also, you know, the one thing I was surprised about was I wondered if we were going to see a larger fine than the $5 million. So it was interesting to me that that came out because, of course, it leaked out before that his camp would be, he would be willing to accept that number. Um, but I thought maybe there was a chance it might be a little higher. I know we had speculated maybe the cost of his salary from last year or something like that, but it really stayed at that five million number that we heard about before. Now we also heard from Andrew Barry and the Haslam's for the first time at this training camp and of course they were waiting until all of this cleared uh, and Mary Kay, did you hear anything from them that stood out to you? Uh, well, one of the things that we did talk to uh, to Andrew about a lot and to Kevin Stefanski, they're still all in on Jacoby Brissett. They really believe that Jacoby Brissett uh, can get them through these first 11 games and then Deshaun comes in uh, for the final six games if he meets all of the conditions and they believe that, you know, they still have all of their goals in front of them. The, uh, you know, the Haslam's, they did state that although Deshaun is maintaining his innocence, uh, they feel very strongly uh, that he does need to get this counseling and that he will learn more about himself as he goes through the process. Ashley, what stood out to you when we heard from the Haslam's today? Well, really, it was not only standing by Jacoby, but standing by Deshaun Watson. They said even knowing everything that they know now, that they would still, they dug their heels in and said they would still go through with this deal, even though I think at the time, no one was really speculating that this suspension would be as long as it's going to be. Of course, it's better than an indefinite suspension. But truly, I think what we've learned is that nothing has changed with this organization. They don't feel badly that they did this deal, and they're standing by Deshaun Watson as their quarterback not just this year but it's five-year deal so they're standing by him as the quarterback for the future I believe was the term Jimmy Haslam used today yeah they made this decision in March and they aren't budging off of it uh, they were even a little standoffish I thought today whereas Deshaun was at least a little more uh, tried to apologize tried to get that apology out there but uh, the Haslam certainly uh, were a little standoffish today when Sue Robinson's report came up and, and some other topics uh, came up anything else uh, stand out to you today before we go, Mary Kay? You know, once again, I, I think it's going to be a hot button issue for a while uh, that Deshaun is maintaining this innocence. I don't think that's going to sit well uh, with his accusers. I don't know if that's going to sit well with, um, you know, with women's groups, you know, the, the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center and National Organization for Women. So I do think he's going to continue to take some heat for this. Uh, but as he goes along and he gets the counseling and the treatment that he needs, you know, maybe when he gets back, he will strike a different note. For right now, he absolutely 100% believes that he's innocent of any wrongdoing. Okay, uh, we have full coverage of everything suspension related and of course spinning it forward to Jacoby Brissett now taking over as the starting quarterback once the season begins. It's all at cleveland.com slash browns.